You're in for a real treat today. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> hey rollers, this is a gi match from the 2017 Rocky Mountain Classic in Alberta. Early on I saw an opening for a quick takedown, but my opponent had a trick up his sleeve. He'd grabbed a perfect collar grip and he was setting up a loop choke. If you haven't seen how effective these can be, check out what can happen if the guy on the bottom can spin under and tighten it. It basically forms a tight noose around the entire neck and it leads to an early bedtime. I didn't think I was in too much trouble. People often grab at my neck during takedowns, but if my body is across theirs, there is no choke. This was different though because he had my gi twisted tight on my neck already. He scooped under and started turning underneath, then he tried to flip me over. I had just enough base to stay on my knees, but letting him turn was a mistake. My head turned purple before I realized that I couldn't stay there. I relieved the pressure by turning back around, and I even went into his half guard to stop his rotation, and then I got my head out. He had good position up on his side with a strong underhook, so I tried to catch his neck with some sort of paper cutter choke. I overcommitted to this, even though it wasn't really there. And while I was distracted, he was coming up to top position. We spent a while basically just holding on here. Uh, I had hunted down a Kimura grip, and he clamped down so that I couldn't use it. We worked our way to the side of the mat, and then we got moved back to the center. Not sure if you could hear his coach, but I'm currently down 7-2. to two. I tried to work my grips in for a collar choke, but he kept his chin down, and his pressure on my hips didn't allow me to come up for deeper grips. And he was very strong. I tried to open things up by using my feet on his hips and creating space. He just stayed in my guard and waited for an opportunity. When he had the space, he went in for a double under. I found a weak underhook on his left arm, but he just pushed forward and stacked me. After that, he stepped over, and then he maintained a low position and a powerful grip on my pants. And I wasn't sure what to do here. I tried pushing him lower, but he was really latched on. And then I thought about using a butterfly hook. You can see me switch my legs here. And then another thought I had was getting ready to come up for a single leg. When I heard his coach repeatedly telling him to pass, I decided to fight for a Kimura and then let him pass. It kind of worked, but he was too low and I couldn't get an angle to attack. I was in danger right here of an armbar reversal, but he didn't go for it. His coach was giving him some good advice here to stay low, and he did that for a while, but I kept throwing my legs up there, and I eventually got my knee in and made some space. Some street rules came out here when I shoved my foot under his chin and reclaimed guard. Ooh, ooh, okay, watch this. This is a smooth pendulum sweep to mount. Yes. But I opened up to attack too quickly, and then he got me in his half guard. He turned to his side, and I couldn't get that underhook, uh, and he ended up getting a grip on my right leg, which he is about to use to his advantage. I tried to put some weight down on him, but I didn't want to get swept. I looked up here to see that there was less than a minute left, and then he came up quickly for a nice takedown. I ended up with my knee up at his right shoulder, and I knew I wanted it to come through. I popped my hips a bit, and I got the triangle. And then I quickly went to work cinching it up. I only had like 12 seconds left. He postured to break free, 
and that's when his arm became fully exposed and I got him with the arm bar. I was obviously very happy with the results this time. If you enjoy my videos, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.